through his blood that was shed on the cross. Through that blood of Jesus Christ, we have been reconciled unto God. We have been brought into the kingdom of God. And that anointing is available. It is available at this hour of prayer, child of God, to sanctify you and to redeem you. Remember the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter number 10, whenever you're watching at this hour, I want you to open your Bible. Remember we read the Bible because that is the foundation of every prophetic word. Every prophetic word, it is based in the Bible. Anything that is outside the Bible, that is not the foundation of the prophetic word. Any hearing, any deliverance, any salvation, it must be based in the Bible. Hebrews chapter number 10, verse number 10. And by that will, we have been made only through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. We have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ. That's why I encourage men and women across the world, if you can, try at least to be taking the Holy Communion or the round table. When you take the body of Christ, you drink the, the blood of Jesus Christ, you are taking a covenant that is enough to deliver you. You are taking a covenant that is enough to set you free. Even today, wherever you're watching, child of God, you can take the Holy Communion. You get the bread, you pray for it to be the body of Christ. You get a juice, you pray for it to be the blood of Jesus Christ, and then you take it. It is enough to deliver you because you are taking a covenant. Now, child of God, Number three, calling upon the fire of the Holy Spirit. Remember, we are making emergency prayers. If you are joining us at this hour, we're speaking about making emergency prayers. Number one, I've spoken about calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I have spoken about calling upon the power in the blood of Jesus. And number three, I'm speaking about calling upon the fire of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit carries fire. That's why you hear in almost every broadcast, I speak about Holy Spirit fire, Holy Spirit fire, Holy Spirit fire. If you read the Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter number 12, verse number 29, it says our God is a consuming fire. That is the Holy Spirit. Also, if you read Matthew chapter number 3, Matthew Chapter number three, there are people you are watching at this hour. The Holy Spirit brought you here so that you can catch the fire of prayer. You can catch the anointing of prayer. You can catch the power and the anointing of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter number 11. I am reading Hebrews chapter number three, verse number 11. John the Baptist said, I am baptizing you with water for repentance of sin. But after me, there will come one who is more powerful than I, whose shadows am not even fit to carry. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. John the Baptist baptized people as a sign that they had asked God to forgive their sins and, and decided to live as he wanted them to live. Now, child of God, when Jesus Christ comes upon your life, he gives you salvation and he baptizes you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. You need to carry this fire of the Holy Spirit in you. You need to carry this anointing fire. You need to be born again. You are saved. And then you carry the anointing of fire. Don't just be an old 